you know, what are you planning to do now? What's what's the what's the game? What's the end game now? What's the what's the end thing that you are going to take care of, Mac? Like to what, oh man, what are we doing? All right, the end game is to have peace of mind. <laughs> that is the end game. I think that everything we do and we pursue in life is to try to get us a peace of mind. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. But did you end up have to cut off a lot of family when you got out? Because you know sometimes you'd be gone so long, and you would think that a lot of people would be down for you and hold you down while you're gone. But you realize who they is really disappear. your friends, who is really your family, who is you know what I mean? Did you have that problem so that when you came home, your circle that you had became a lot smaller? No. Um, I started by saying I'm an optimist, right? I don't see things that way. I don't think anyone owed me anything. God, that's your time. You, you see you, what I'm saying? Yeah. You I've was always given that. Been, I was always that type of child from a, from a, a child who just. I take my response. I take me. I'm my responsibility. Nobody else. I agree right? with that. And because so, I don't expect much from people, and um, I'm never disappointed. Because I don't have those expectations. I gotta ask you this before we get out of here. BG, did you ever get to do time with BG while you was gone? No, he was in the feds. Oh yeah, 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 he was. Yeah, yeah. I seen I seen him before he went to the feds. He been gone by twelve, about fifteen, 15 years. years. Yeah, 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 man. It's it's like a lot of lot of our rappers, man, catch mm-hmm. it. You know, it's a, it's a, almost like it's a target, not just through the judicial system, but oh, it within, was it, within themselves, within the hip hop police. It's all kind of stuff it geared was. toward it, man. It, it was, I mean, and, and, and make no mistake about it. And, and let me say this, and, and just for the records before we go, I want, uh, I don't ever want to come across as downplaying this experience or downplaying the injustices that are, that exist within our uh, judicial system, within our criminal justice system, and, um, and within law enforcement. I don't ever want to come across as, um, Downplaying the, the 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 enormity of how it negatively affects our community, certain our groups people, of people, our culture, right? Certain certain cultures, right? So that stuff is real, but just on an individual level, on a personal level, I feel that every person is in control of their destiny, and the way you see the world, the way you perceive it, is what um, is what it is, because we all define our own reality. Two people can look at the same thing, and guess what? Depending on how they view it, I mean the way they, how they perception feel about it. Perception is everything. Perception is everything. If my partner and another guy get into a fight, this dude can beat the crap out my partner. If I don't like the dude, I'm gonna say, man, my partner was 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 hurt already. He, right. uh, I'm gonna find a reason to why my partner him. was in in the right. Just, mm-hmm. My all my partner can punch down a eighty year old dude. And if you like your partner and you're on that end of it, you're going to, the, the average person will be like, well, man, he shouldn't have did this or he did that. And that's what made, you know, because people just see things with their heart, not their eyes. But when you came home, you weren't able to file any lawsuits or anything like that. No, because I wasn't exonerated. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah. J- just, you know, what are you planning to do now? What's, what's, the, what's the game? What's the end game now? What's the what's the end thing that you're gonna take care of, Mac? Like to, what, oh man, what the, are we doing? All right, the end game is to have peace of mind. <laughs> that is the end game. I think that everything we do and we pursue in life is to try to get us a peace of mind. That's it. So, um, for me, I love mentoring. Okay. So what I do now is I have a uh, I, I work with kids with a certain organiza- with two organizations actually. And one of them is an after school program where, you know, we, we do a lot of workshops for kids, teaching them, just trying to give them the opportunities that didn't exist when we were kids. Mm-hmm. Um, another organization, and that one is called, yep, the Youth Empowerment Project. Another organization I work with is called um, Son of a Saint. It's for fatherless boys. Okay. Good. And um, I, I, I'm passionate about that one because through mentoring in prison, one of the things that I realized was about, 80% of the young men that came to my class um, that were under the age of 23 was fatherless. Was fatherless. Mm-hmm. And these were all prisoners. These were mm-hmm. all young men between 18 and 23 years old. 
and 80% of them were fatherless. In fact, I used to ask every class, it might be 30 people, I'd be like, yo, how many of y'all got a father in your life? Three of them might raise their hand. Mm -hmm. So I realized early on that, you know, I, I realized in the neighborhood as a kid that there was something different about me and my friends who did have their father and the guys who didn't. Ugh. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.